Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Miller here to join you today for a little bit more of our writing. So let's just get started. Narrators. Good job. So we've talked a lot about writing narrative stories and we've shared our stories about what's happened to us and we could tell all kinds of details in our stories. Today, we're going to think about zooming in on one little part of that big, huge story. So like think about going on vacation. There are lots of things that you might do on vacation, but I need you to zoom in on one of your favorite parts. Like um, Mrs. Miller went on vacation and one of my favorite parts about vacation was swimming with the sea turtles. So I could talk about that one little part of my whole vacation. Okay. Or if you want to talk about your school day, there are lots of things that happen during your school day. I want you to focus on one single part. I'm going to choose um, recess because that seems to be a favorite for everyone. So maybe I want to talk about just about recess. Maybe I'm going to say it's my whole school day, but I'm going to focus right in on recess. That is like the cake versus a slice. So, you know, we have this whole big cake, right? That's our big story. But when we think about a slice, we slice it down to one little special part of our story. So when we listened to the story last week, All the Places to Love, there were lots of things that happened in the story. But if I want to focus on one little slice of that, I might focus on this, this day. And this was the day that they wrote their names on the wood in the barn. And so maybe that's the part I want to focus on. And so that little piece is what I want to talk about from this story. So we have a whole big story, but we slice it down into one little section, thinking about your big cake to one little slice. So um, when we write about just one moment of the story, we're able to tell a lot of detail that might have been left out from before. So, you know, like if you think about going on vacation, you could say I swam in the ocean and I swam with the turtles and I did this and I did this and I did this and you just kind of list everything out. But when you focus on one little thing, you're able to talk a lot about that one thing. So that slice, you're able to give some details and make people really excited about that part of your story. So today I want you to um, tell a story that um, or tell, I'm going to tell a story about how, what happened to me. So last weekend, I went to the store. That would be my cake or my big moment. But I want to tell you about one little slice from that cake. I want to tell you about one little slice of going to the store. I want to tell you about how when I was at the store, I ran into a friend of mine and we talked and talked and talked. So that is one little slice of my story. It's not the whole thing. I didn't talk about every single thing that happened to me at the store. I just talked about one little piece. So that's what we're going to work on today. I want you to um, talk to someone at home and first share with them a cake story, like a big, huge story. All right. And then I want you to think about one little slice of that story. So let's first start by telling the whole big story, what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to give you my example, and then I'll give you a moment to give me your example. My is going to be going on a family vacation to the beach. So that's my cake. That's my whole big story. What's your cake? All right, good. Now, let's focus in on one little slice of that. My little slice is going to be swimming with the sea turtles. So I'm going to talk about swimming with the sea turtles. I'm not going to talk about everything that happened on my vacation. I'm going to talk about swimming with the sea turtles. What are you going to talk about? Okay, now I want you to talk to your person who's helping you, and I want you to tell them just about that little slice. So I'm going to tell you about mine. I got on the boat. We went out to where the sea turtles are. We snorkeled with the sea turtles and we got to see them and they were bigger than my 10 year old daughter. We got back in the boat and we went back to shore. So that's my one little slice of my whole big story. 
You tell me your slice. All right, very good. All right, so today I want you to practice writing about that slice. Now remember, you can still use your first, next, and last, or your beginning, middle, and end. Okay, you can still practice that, but I want you to just talk about that one little slice of your story. So I want you to practice writing today, and I want you to practice writing just the little bit, what you just told me is what I want you to try and write today, okay? And if you need some extra help or you need someone to help you tap out the words, you're welcome to have someone help you a little bit today so we can really start to think about focusing in on not the whole cake, but the slice. Another example that I can give you real quick is going to the zoo. That's a big story, right? We went to the zoo. That's a big story. But maybe I want to focus on my favorite animal there right? So I might want to say, um, I went to the zoo. We got to see the penguins. They were swimming in the freezing cold water. They were making all sorts of weird noises and eating fish. It was so fun. So that's my little slice of my story. So you try that um, writing about your little slice. All right. Enjoy your writing. Don't forget to share it with your teacher and have a great day.